if you want to learn how to model the market for a commercial due diligence or for a corporate restructuring project, then you've come to the right place. If you don't know this case study yet, make sure to check out the playlist that I link in the description below. So what's the goal of this third work package in phase one? We want to validate the sales numbers that a client old fashioned here gave to us. So this is a fashion retailer from Germany. And to validate these sales numbers, we are going to do two things. We will size and forecast the so-called core market. And then in the second step, we will validate the market share and the sales numbers of old fashioned going forward. Now, as opposed to modeling the financials, this is now a much more subjective task and thus calls for a different approach. So as we can see here on the slide, I'm going to follow three phases to do that. First, we need to get the ballpark right. Then we are going to nail it down, really make it specific. And finally, we want to ensure zero defect, both from a business and from a technical perspective. For each of those phases, we get a distinct set of methods that we're going to rely on. So first, to get a ballpark right, we're primarily going to make use of a chatbot and some pen and paper stuff. Then to really nail it down, we need to look into segmenting and filtering, which is also why this is much more subjective than modeling the financials. Because when looking at an income statement or a balance sheet, you're not really supposed to change the structure there. But here, the structure is really one of your key contributions. So we're going to look into in detail the segments and the channels that old fashioned serves. So I'm going to explain this mix of methods really that we will apply when we do that. We need to forecast the development of the market and eventually we need to validate the sales based on the expected market share of old fashioned. And finally, you really want to be sure that your model is free from errors. For each of these phases, we are also going to have a quality assurance measure. So first, this is going to be simple sanity checks. Then we're going to use triangulation. So triangulation essentially means like contrasting these potentially diverging opinions from expert interviews, market research and customer service. And finally, for the model review, we will integrate business and technical perspectives. So that's the structure that we are going to follow. If you want to know how to get the ballpark right in the next video, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you right then.